Hi, my name is Megan Tinkler, and welcome to the first edition of Strategic Marketing Tips by Function, an integrated marketing firm. With so much going on in the business world, from meetings to conferences, the daily grind, it seems time is being swallowed up, and it's difficult to find time and energy to develop new and exciting ways to gather media content for the web. And even if you're able to gather content, what do you do next to communicate the information to your audience? In this first edition of Strategic Marketing Tips, I'm going to touch on a few easy ways to obtain relevant media content and how to manage it effectively. First off, you want your audience to do the work for you by using pull marketing tactics. A pull marketing strategy involves motivating your audience to tell you what is important so you can focus your strategy in that direction. Let your audience act first. You can do this by asking yourself some key questions. What is your audience saying about your product? What are your audience's needs? And how is your audience using your product? Once you have answered these questions, next you want to consider online visibility. In today's business world, it is imperative for businesses to have an online presence. Oftentimes, your company's website is one of the first impressions on your audience. So find out who is looking for your site. How are they finding your site? You can do this by using website analytics, which is the measurement, collection, analysis, and reporting of your website for purposes of understanding and optimizing its usage. Google Analytics is a great free resource that can easily be set up to generate analytics. Simply visit google.com for more information on how to utilize this tool. These metrics and audience insight are great resources for content, such as idea or how-to guides, blog posts, or photo galleries. Additionally, these metrics will begin to tell you who your audience is and is not, which is in turn will help guide you as you plan where to best post your content on your site. Once you have acquired content from your audience, begin planning how and where to communicate this information. Organize this information into a media plan. Set a specified length of time of what, where, and when to post. This lets you avoid wasting time each day making these decisions. As you develop your media plan, consider a few key factors. Customers hate to read lengthy reports, so find the information most important and make it quick and easy to find, simple and to the point. If it's easier to say it versus type it, then do. Video has a much further impact and reach than text, as well as increases your search engine optimization, which is the process of improving the visibility of your website and a search engine's search results. Try varying your content type. It will make your site more robust, so you can use text, photos, video, or an interactive tool. And remember, a static website receives static traffic. Update as often as you can, even if it's repurposing information from other online resources or customer forums. Now that you've considered what to post your company website, next you want to think further. Know that you will increase your website traffic by being present in other online platforms. Over two-thirds of consumers report they are influenced by social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and other social media sites, when making purchases. So don't disregard social media. It's more important than you might think. Research from the University of Massachusetts says 62% of Fortune 500 companies have a Twitter account and have tweeted in the past 30 days, and 58% have corporate Facebook pages. And as a whole, companies are seen as more trustworthy when they have an online social presence. Social media is a great way to communicate quick and short bits of content in real time. It can be used for more than just sales, like expanding your brand, increasing referral traffic, or improving customer relations. You can do this through linking to articles, press releases, and product information. But remember, outreach with social media should be more than just selling your product. Don't use it as just a way to peddle your product. The idea of social media is to create engaging conversation by interacting with your audience. Ask questions about your products and services. Again, you're using pull marketing tactics, keeping in mind that what your audience is saying about your product is much more important than what you are saying. So stop bombarding them with products and involve them in your brand story, which will in turn increase your brand loyalty. Another way to increase brand loyalty and improve customer relations is to show your personality on social media websites. Oftentimes, companies appear big and unhuman instead of someone who cares about their, their customers' needs. Showing there's a person behind the name can be key in winning this battle. 
Many companies have found huge success when allowing more than one person to voice their thoughts on social media sites, as long as guidelines are in place. This way, one person is no longer responsible for managing all content and planning. With these guidelines in place, you will alleviate the stresses associated with gathering content and deciding when and where to post. So remember, your customers want to hear from you on a range of topics. Pick the topics you find most engaging and important and speak to those. And when you're ready, keep going back to your audience for more ideas. Try different venues and see what works best. Most importantly, keep an open mind on how to reach and engage your audience. Stay tuned for more strategic tips by Function. You can find us on the web at www.functionatl.com. And if you're up for it, you can find us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, and even watch us on YouTube 